All right. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jay, aka the Murder Whistle. As you can see, I got my co-pilots with me. Today, we are watching the movie Airplane. Now, I don't know anything about Airplane, but I've been told that um it's starring Leslie Nielsen. This is also um one of those movies like Nick Again. Like one of those silly funny movies. Just based off what Blank told me. I know this is going to be a really good movie. That's going to be funny. Um, a lot of y'all are super excited about this too. Y'all been asking for this for a while. So. Um, we was going to do it sooner. But. Something happened. We ended up pushing it back. So. We're doing it for you now. I'm super excited to get into this. To find out what it's about, because I love silly stuff anyway. I need to give this disclaimer. For people who come through who's not regular here. I'm one of them people. That I don't laugh out loud a lot. But when I do, it's called something super funny caught me off guard. I'm not a laugh out loud type person. Y'all y'all seen. It, it, takes, it takes some wild stuff for me to bust out laughing. The, the regulars, y'all know. Like I said, I'm I'm really looking forward to getting into this to see what it's all about. So before I get into this, I need you to do me a favor. I need y'all hit that like, subscribe. Also, don't forget that bell notification so you be reminded when we drop something new. Also, down in the description is a link to our Patreon. Um, I know a lot of y'all been asking for us to start a Discord. There should now be a link. So just head on over there. Uh, we apologize for taking so long. We're new to this school. We're trying. We're still figuring stuff out about it. We're new to this. But as I mentioned a second ago, the Patreon. I'm gonna give a shout out to the VIPs. I'm gonna give a shout out to Leslie Trey, John Harold, Becca June, the beautiful dog Missy, Big Al, Robin, John the Patrick, Lost Opportunity, aka Crow Crow, Cody Stoudemire, Frost1997. Paul Sawicki, Grady B. Olson, Adam, Anna Rondo, Big Frank, Echo, Naran, TJ Gingler, Kevin Rowley, Red Tail Z, Thomas E. Johnson Jr., The Brandons, Kyle Carson, Garrett, and Nicholas Jenkins. I want to thank y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody else for being part of the family as well. We appreciate the way y'all show up and support us. And before we get into this, here's a brief word from our sponsor. This chair has made a fast improvement on my reactions. Matter of fact, I love it so much, I decided to get a second one. As I mentioned before, I love playing video games. So instead of just moving this chair here back and forth, from in here to my living room, I just decided to get one for gaming purposes only. Ewen has premium award-winning gaming chairs and gaming desk. They have heavy-duty chairs that hold up to 550 pounds. They also have over 10,000 five-star ratings. They also offer up to a 10-year warranty as well. Since my first chair was an Ewen Championship Series Aeronomic with cold care foam and pillows. I decided to go with the E-Win Championship Series Aeronomic with pure leather. The E-Win chair that I'm sitting in now is perfect for my reactions because it comes with the cold care foam. And since I'm sitting by the window, it is perfect for the weather because it always tends to be a little cooler or warmer right here. And the cold care foam is always the right temperature. It's perfect. But since I'm going to be strictly gaming in the living room, I figure I go with the pew leather because it's going to be around the co-pilots more. As much as I love the co-pilots, the co-pilots do shed. The E-Win Championship Series with aerodynamic pew leather is an easy cleanup, and it's perfect to be around the co-pilots. Because all I got to do when they shed is wipe it down, easy peasy. This one comes with 4D armrest, adjustable tilt and lock, and height adjustment. Also, this here is my favorite feature right here. 
this adjustable pillow. So head on over to eWinRacing.com and don't forget to use the code EOM so you get yourself a 20% discount. EOM tested, Copilot approved. That being said, I'm really looking forward to getting the airplane. So I see you on the other side. Let's get it. Shut the f up. I was wondering why the why the music sounded so menacing. This shit about to be silly as hell. There is no stopping in the red zone. There is no stopping in the red zone. The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading only. There is no stopping in the red zone. So apparently you can't stop in the red zone. Would you put all your metal objects into this dish, please? Shut the f up. Taxi! The f I'll be back in a minute. Oh, he gonna charge him while he wait. Elaine. Ted. Elaine, I've got to talk to you. If you'll just be patient, I can work things out. I have been patient, and I've tried to help, but you wouldn't even let me do that. Hey, bring it up. It takes so many things to make love last. Most of all, it takes respect. And I can't live with a man I don't respect. Oh, why don't she respect him? What a pisser. Captain Clarence over, white courtesy phone. No, the white phone. Oh. That's funny as hell. This is Captain Over. One moment for your call from the Mayo Clinic. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight 209 or a little girl named Lisa Davis. Excuse me, this is the operator, Captain Over. I have an emergency call for you on line five from a Mr. Ham. All right, give me Ham on five, hold the mail. Ham on five, hold the mail. So this is the little girl they was talking about? Elaine, if you just give me one it's more- It's too late, Ted. I'm sorry. Excuse me, we'd like you to have this flower from the Church of Religious Conscience. Oh! I mean, I feel. <laughs> Denver it is. Sorry, Clarence. Latest weather report shows everything socked in from Salt Lake to Lincoln. Shut the f*** up. Oh, hi, Roger. Glad to have you aboard. Victor, this is Roger Murdoch. Victor Basta. How do you do, Roger? Now, that's Kareem. There's a uh, included front stall over the Dakotas. That's a credit card machine. I know that now. And I know why some yeah well I know some of y'all ask me how in airplanes, planes, trains, and automobiles. I didn't know what that was. I was six when that movie came out. I went I wasn't spending money. <laughs> I didn't have a credit card. I'd like one ticket to Chicago. Smoking or non-smoking? Smoking, please. Here, have a nice trip. Thank you, this is Red Leader 4. He didn't used to be Maverick. That hunky muff me mess my old lady. Got to be running cold upside down his head, you know? Hey, hey home, I can dig it. No, he ain't gonna lay no more big rap up on you, man. Subba say I won't see him. Uh -huh. Pray to Jay, I did the same old, same old. Shut the f up. The gray matter back, lot performers down, I take TCB in, man. They got subtitles because they talk jive. And I. That's funny as hell, but at the same time, that might be low key racist. <laughs> that's funny as f though. Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. 209 at the ground control. We're loaded and ready to taxi. Goodbye, Bill. Goodbye, darling. Oh, but it's your watch. You shouldn't. You're going to need this. It's all right. It doesn't work. Goodbye, darling. The door's still open. Oh. 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 One, two, three point niner. Roger. Hi. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Over. Roger. Huh? Roger, over. What? Hey. Oh, I get it now. His name is Roger. I get it.
I was a little slow on that. I was like, why do you keep saying that, huh? Our arrival time in Chicago will be 10.45 p.m. The temperature there is currently... Shut the f*** up. Dad, what are you doing here? Elaine, I've got to talk to you. Uh, you. You shouldn't have come. I don't have time now. Oh, Stuart is. Excuse me. Hey, man, he still got somebody in his taxi. No wonder you're upset. She's lovely. I remember when we first met. It was during the war. She looked like I don't want to hear this. I used to hang out at the Magumbo Bar. It was a rough place, the seediest dive on the wharf, populated with every reject and cutthroat from Bombay to Calcutta. It's worse than Detroit. Worse than Detroit. Ain't no way. I don't believe it. You could count on a fight breaking out almost every night. <laughs> Oh, they are banging. They need to be in the UFC. Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. I don't know about that. Okay. You may look the other way. I didn't go there that night to fall in love. I just dropped in for a couple of drinks. But suddenly, there she was. I had to ask the guy next to me to pinch me to make sure I wasn't dreaming. But that night, fate was on my side. Oh. Oh, she has no clue he's dying. She getting him, though. She got an eye patch on. He stole my move. He really stole my move. I don't know what he's doing right there. They still fighting. These bitches are still fighting. I never wanted it to end. I guess I still don't. But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. It's just that whenever I start to talk about Lane, I always... Oh, shut the f*** up. I lose all track of time. He literally talked her to death. When can I see the cockpit, Dad? Joey, I think the pilots are probably too busy flying the plane for that. I'll tell you what, Joey. I'll talk to the captain and see what I can arrange. Gee, that'd be swell. That'd be swell. Do you gentlemen care to order your dinners? Bet, babe. Slide a piece of the pole to drink, so I run the job. I can take grease and chomp it on some butter and drag them through the garden. She has no idea what the fuck they said to her. Excuse me. I happen to be passing. I thought you might like some coffee. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Shoot a shoot. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. What she say? What the little girl say? Uh, shoot his shoot, but he wasted a shot. We have a visitor. Hello. Hi. This is Joey Hammond. Oh, hi, Joey. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? What the f***? We better get back now, Joey. No, Joey can stay here for a while. No, get Joey away from him. He got some problems. Wait a minute. I know you. You're Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You play basketball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, he called him out. My dad says you don't work hard enough on defense. And that you don't really try, except during the playoffs. The hell I don't. Listen to you. Hey, he snapped off. I've been hearing that crap ever since I was at UCLA. Tell your old man to drag Walton in the near up and down the court for 48 minutes. There's a little girl on board up front who's ill and... Oh, well, yes, I saw. Poor child. Could I borrow your guitar? I thought maybe I could cheer her up. Oh, of course. Oh! 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 oh. There's so much going on in this movie. Wanted to know if life had a purpose. I don't know if this is her singing. 
But whoever's singing this is singing their ass off right now. They told me again and again. That's so funny. One river. There is only one sea. Oh, sh Oh, they're going to hell for that. Yeah, after the war, I just wanted to get as far away from things as possible. So Elaine and I joined the Peace Corps. And this motherfucker just seat hopping? Can you do that on a plane? It was at that moment that I first realized Elaine had doubts about our relationship. And that, as much as anything else, led to my drinking problem. I had a number of jobs. Well, I could go on for hours, but I'd probably start to bore you. You know, I really couldn't blame Elaine. She wanted a career. And this motherfucker can kill two people on this plane. What is it? Oh, yes. Oh, it's my stomach. I haven't felt this awful since we saw that Ronald Reagan film. Find out if there's a doctor on board as quietly as you can. Joey, have you ever been in a... In a Turkish prison. I think the man sitting next to me is a doctor. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. You a doctor? That's right. I forgot he was in this. Oh. Let me see your tongue. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. <laughs> Victor, we're running into some heavy weather. Can you... Did he just die? Roger, take over. Do they got COVID? How soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. We've got to get through to Chicago. Shut up. You got his goggles on. Man, shut the f up. What was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, we had a choice, steak, fish. Yes, yes, I remember I had lasagna. What did he have? How the f bumpy up here but we'll be past it in a few minutes uh, a couple points of interest we're now flying over hoover dam and a little later on we'll pass just to the south of the grand canyon where are they gonna put kareem's big ass at oh stewardess my husband's very sick can you do something please one thing do you know what he had for dinner yes of course we both had fish why oh it's nothing to be alarmed about are you about to be sick too every passenger on this plane who had fish for dinner will become violently ill in the next half hour just how serious is it, Doctor? Oh, shut the f up. Starts with a slight fever, dryness of the throat, severe muscle spasms, followed by the inevitable drooling. <laughs> accompanied by uncontrollable flatulence, until finally the poor bastard is reduced to a quivering, wasted piece of jelly. Automatic pilot. Shut the f up. Hold all takeoffs. I don't want another plane in the air. And the 508 reports, bring it straight in. Yes, sir. Put out a general bulletin to suspend all meal service on flights out of Los Angeles. Tell all dispatchers to remain at the post. It's going to be a long night. How about some coffee, Johnny? No, thanks. I want the weather on every landing field this side of the line, no matter what the size. You understand? Hey, my man's giving my orders, ain't he? He's making things happen. Go upstairs to the tower and get a runway diagram. Terry, check down the field for emergency equipment. Chief, we got fog right down to the deck. I'm not falling for that setup. I will not. Get me Rex Kramer. Who? Who's Rex? 35,000 feet. No, wait, 34,000 feet. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, your autopilot deflating? Yo! Why is it doing that? Hey, 
Because he died. He had the fish too. The automatic pilot, it's deflating. On the belt line of the automatic pilot, there is a hollow tube. Now that is the manual inflation nozzle. Pull it out and blow on it. What the hell's going on up there? Hey, look at him. Hey, D.E. has his right hand on her, his right hand on her head. Oh, y'all nasty. Y'all nasty, nasty. Unless I get all those people to a hospital quickly, I can't even be sure of saving their lives. Now, is there anyone on board who can land this plane? No, no one I know of. You got to drink the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your stewardess speaking. We regret any inconvenience. There's no reason to become alarmed, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your flight. By the way, is there anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane? You can't make that announcement. That was key to the plot. Hello, I'm Paul Perry from the airline. I'm here to pick up Captain Kramer. Oh, yes. Come in, Paul. Uh, Rex will be right out. So, what is he going to do? He can't get up in the air and fly the plane? Are you a pilot yourself? No, I'm in. Program. You'd think after all these years, someone would listen to him. Oh, well. That puppy is in his ass. When they built those roads, they had no thought of drainage in mind. So we had to take a special jeep up to the main road. This is third body. There's been a little problem in the cockpit. The no, cockpit? It's... What is it? It's the little room in the front of the plane where the pilots sit. That's not important right now. I like how that's a run go. Like, what is it? Shut up. Both pilots. Can you fly this plane and land it? Ooh. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Blake says that. Blake says that a lot. I flew single engine fighters in the Air Force, but this plane has four engines. It's an entirely different kind of flying altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind, kind of, of flying. flying. I love how he's able to say really funny and silly stuff and be dead serious like the whole time i'd have stole the taxi where the hell is kramer that's awesome no we can't do that the risk of a flame out is too great and that dog was in his ass look at him one of the passengers is going to land that plane. Is that possible? It's 100 to one shot. I know this guy. You do? Yeah. Who is it? Oh. Name's Ted Stryker. I flew with him during the war. Oh, sh And all the pieces on a particular mission. Let's just hope that doesn't happen tonight. doing here you, you can't fly this plane that's what i've been trying to tell these people mr striker is the only hope we've got <laughs> can't stand it anymore i've got to get out of here i've got to get out of here Calm down get a hold of yourself stewardess please let me handle this i've got to get out of here Calm down now. Get back to your seat. I'll take care of this. Calm down. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Don't do your one on the phone. And they were slapping the shit out of her. He's a menace to himself and everything else in the air. Okay, okay. He's a terrible risk. But what other choice have we got? Was they on the phone to each other? Was they talking to each other? All right, Steve. Let's face a few facts. Just... Let me tell you something, Steve. Ted Spiker was a top-notch squadron leader. A long time ago. I want you to get on the horn and talk that guy down. Oh, my God. That shit made me fart. 
like I picked the wrong week to quit drinking. I've seen, I've heard Snoop Dogg did that in a movie. Well, it was, it was with weed. <laughs> out that window all right i'm going to unlock the automatic pilot I just remember the controls will feel very heavy compared to a fighter now one more thing somebody there who can work the radio and leave you free for fly hey he said <laughs> he said y'all started some early i gotta finish what's going on we have a right to know the truth all right i'm going to level with you all the most important thing now is that you remain calm there's no reason to panic is his nose getting bigger? But the other two pilots are just fine. Shut the f up. I know that right now things must look pretty rough up there. There's no reason why you shouldn't have complete confidence in your chances to come out of this thing alive and in one piece. How's it handling? It's sluggish. Like a wet sponge. Sluggish. Like a wet sponge. It's a damn good thing he doesn't know how much I hate his guts. It's a damn good thing you don't know how much he hates your guts. get you something? It's your mofo, butter lamb into the bone, Jay. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Cuddy say can't hang. Oh, Stewardess, I speak jive. Oh, good. He said that he's in great pain and he wants to know if you can help him. That's funny. Just hang loose, blood. She's gonna catch up on the rebound on the med side. What it is, big mama? My mama didn't raise no dummies. I duck a rap. Cut me some slack, Jack. Chump the one to help, Chump don't get the help. Jive ass dude don't got no brains anyhow. I love that old woman. I don't know who she is, but she come through. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the movie so far. Johnny, what can you make out of this? This? Well, I can make a cap, or a brooch, or a pterodactyl. What the f*** is wrong with Johnny? Hello? Mrs. Over? Yes, this is Mrs. Over. There's some trouble on your husband's flight. We don't know how serious it is yet. Yes, I'll be right down. You can let yourself out the back door. There's juice in the refrigerator. Is this bitch Mr. Ed? I've got to concentrate. Concentrate. I've got to concentrate. 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 Hello? Hello? Echo, echo, echo. Pinch hitting for Pedro Bourbon. Manny Mota, Mota, Mota. Oh, he tripped. I don't understand. It should have been arranged ten minutes ago. Gunnison, check the radar range. Anything yet? It's about two more minutes, Chief. Is he cooking a turkey in a microwave? Nicky Myers, of course. That's impossible. They're on instruments. like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. How much longer can those passengers hold out? Uh, half an hour and 45 minutes. What kind of plane is it? Oh, it's a big, pretty white plane with red stripes and curtains in the window and wheels, and it looks like a big Tylenol. Uh, let's get some pictures. I want the one of the fucker They robbed him. Would you like a little whiskey, man? Certainly not. This movie was made in the 80s. <laughs> she just took some from set. Surely there must be something you can do. I'm doing everything I can. Now stop calling me Shirley. What did he just do? I've never been so scared. Besides, I'm 26 and I'm not married. Now we're going to make it. <laughs> You've got to believe that. Do you have any idea when we'll be landing? Pretty soon. How are you bearing up? To be honest, I've never been so scared. But at least I have a husband. <laughs> oh, that dirty bitch. <laughs> hey, she dirty as for that. The oil pressure. I forgot to check the oil pressure. Kramer hears about this. The shit's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> oh, that's nasty as That's right. I can't take the pressure. I was crazy to think I could land this plane. But Ted, you know. I don't care. I don't have what it takes. Oh, you bitch. Bad news. 
fog is getting thicker. Look at his fucking hair. And Leon's getting larger. Hey man, that dude got problems, man. I know what you're gonna say, so save your breath. No. I don't have a thing to say. You've done the best you could. Oh, he did. He a bitch. It's on late duty one night when they brought in a badly wounded pilot from one of the raids. The pilot's name was George Zip. The odds were against us up there, but we went in anyway. I'm glad. The captain made the right decision. George Zip said that? Shut the f up. The last thing he said to me, Doc, he said, tell them to get out there and give it all they've got. And win just one with a zipper. Excuse me, Doc. I've got a plane to land. And then for the Gipper? I'm ordering you to stay up there. No dice, Chicago. I'm giving the orders and we're coming in. I guess the foot's on the other hand now, isn't it, Kramer? The foot's on the other hand. Passengers certain to die. Airline negligent. There's a sale at Penny's. Hey, man. We're going to the tower. The tower? The tower? Rapunzel! Rapunzel! I know he had the most fun on this movie. He had to. I don't want to see that on a plane. All right, Colosimo, you work the relay. Robbers check all air traffic within five miles. Get that finger out of your ear. You don't know where that finger's been. Oh, he sniffed it. Husband and the others are alive, but unconscious. Just like Gerald Ford. Now, there's a chance that we can save him. Who, what that mean? Where did you get that dress? It's awful, and those shoes and that coat, jeez. <laughs> I hear savage. Hear a whole savage. Turn right to heading zero, four, four. The f are they playing? You can get poured onto that field. Being done right now. Air Israel, please clear the runway. I'm not saying that about it. WZAZ in Chicago, where disco lives forever. Watch your altitude strike, you're too erratic. That's what he said. You better leave, sweetheart. You might get hurt up here. Hey, real show, she bad. Oh, she got f***ed up, did she? All right, he's on final now. Put on all runway lights except Niner. Captain, uh, maybe we ought to turn on the searchlights now. Oh, that's just what they'll be expecting us to do. The fuck? I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Should be able to see the runway at 300 feet. Aim a touchdown a third of the way along. Slight crossmen from the right, so be ready for it. Land too fast, use your emergency brakes. Red handles right in front of you. That doesn't stop you. And why is she rubbing on him like that? Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. Oh, here, yeah, add it. So he's 675, 650, 625. He's holding. He's holding. He's holding. He's holding. No, no. That's my doing laundry. All right, now, everybody, get in crash position. All right, good. Now, listen to me. Remember, you're on that. Ew, Just kidding. <laughs> oh, shut the f up. He's coming right at us! Ah! Coming in too hot! Watch your stall speed! I'm getting drunk. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. He about to run out of railway. I'm to, hey, nobody had more fun than him. I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. 
Ted, that was probably the lousiest landing in the history of this airport. For some of us here, particularly me. I'd like to buy you a drink and shake your hand. Loneliness, that's the bottom line. I was never happy as a child. Christmas, Ted, what does that mean to you? To me, it was a living hell. I'd like to fall in the mud and get kicked. The man still talking. So that dude's still in his taxi, ain't he? Shut the f up. That's f amazing. Well, I'll give him another 20 minutes. I f knew it. But that's it. I f knew it. All right. This guy finished watching an airplane. And I have to say, I like airplane more than I like Nick again. Like I thought all the jokes was very clever. I love how the fact that um anytime they said what is something, they describe what like like HQ. They're like, what is it? They describe what um headquarters is or something like that. Like I love I love that running gag. Um I love how old dude just really secretly he he had a body count. He was he he got three people killed. Three. I'm counting the the bomb dude too, the well, not the bomb, the gasoline dude with the match. He, I'm counting him too. So my man was really like low key, like a mass murder. <laughs> I love the fact they had the jive um, subtitles on there earlier. The jive talking, the Leslie Nelson man. Like I personally haven't seen anybody who can say something as off the wall as him. And have a look so serious on his face. I haven't seen nobody that could do it like him. Like I've seen some people say some funny stuff being dead serious, but he just have that look like. Like I haven't seen nobody that's better than him that, at that. I love the fact that Kareem snapped on a kid. That that's that's funny as hell. That old woman that was talking jive, I tell you still favorite part of the movie. Because not only did she translate it. Then she started talking shit to him in jive. You got a hot baby. You got warm, didn't you? But I love how they all got a line to slap that one woman. <laughs> and, and then she attacked old girl for no reason. She said, well, at least I'm married. <laughs> hey, she dirty as hell for that. That's a vicious attack. I don't know that one dude's name. The silly dude in a, in the airplane place. Hey, I'm telling you, nobody had more fun making this movie than him. You, you can't tell me. Hey, he he never had a job this funny again. Well, I, I, I don't I don't know that, but he might have. But he's had the most fun on this movie that I've I've seen in my opinion. Like you know, saying like he had a blast. I would love to be him on this movie. Oh, you just want me to act the fool the whole movie in the background? Bad. This is a fun movie. This is a real fun movie. I like sports movies like this. Like, I think it's a couple other ones y'all mentioned that I need to watch that I hadn't seen. Look, I got an eyelash and then come loose. Maybe I got a hair in my eye. Maybe that's what it is. I just need my eye water. Blow my eye for me. You gonna blow it for me? Thank you, baby. <laughs> it, it made my eye feel better. Okay. But um, like I said, I really did enjoy this movie. I'm starting to be a real big fan of Leslie Nelson. The two movies I've seen him in, he's been amazing in. Y'all might not know this, but Ronald's got abs. Like you can feel him right here. My man got abs. He he got a four pack. <laughs> if y'all do it for me earlier, please do it for me now. Hit that like and subscribe. Also, don't forget that bell notification. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. But night night. <laughs> Tell him. There you go. He won't let me say it. Y'all be good.